Healthmark BioExpert introduces the Pressifil for oral liquids. The Pressifil can be used for all types of oral liquid packaging. This video will focus mostly on the setup and filling process of oral dispensers with additional instructions for other unit dose options. First, connect the electrical cord to the converter and plug it into the wall. Then plug the remaining end into the back of the pump. You will also notice the on-off switch at the back along with an additional hole for the optional foot pedal. The foot pedal is an option that allows you to run the pump hands-free in manual mode. Simply plug the foot pedal into the back of the pump and place it on the floor. This will be demonstrated later during the filling process. You are now ready to set up your pump for filling. Before you begin, ensure that you have all of the necessary materials for the process. You will need the Pressifil block holder and anchor, a glass beaker for the solution, an appropriate size tubing set, a BD Master Lure Lock IV syringe in either 3mm, 10mm or 30mm. Select the closest size to the amount you are filling. Oral dispensers or unit dose container, a lure slip adapter, and a container of medication solution. You can use any manufacturer's oral dispenser as the adapter is not specific to a certain manufacturer. There are two types of tubing sets available. High flow large bore, which is used for solutions that are viscous or have fill volumes over five mils. Low flow small bore sets are used for non-viscous solutions with fill volumes under five mils. The tubing set that you select is based on fill volume and solution viscosity. Initially, we will demonstrate a 5 mil fill volume with a non-viscous solution. Discard the three end caps as well as the white paper packaging. You only need the tubing set. Attach the metal anchor onto the long end of the tubing set and place into the glass beaker with the solution. Attach the oral adapter to the other end of the tubing set. Ensure this is twisted on snugly to prevent leaks. Attach the appropriate master IV syringe to the shortest end of the tubing set. For this demonstration, we'll use the BD 10 mil master IV syringe as we are filling 5 mil oral dispensers. You want to twist the master IV syringe on so that the graduations will be facing up when placed into the pump. With your tubing set assembled, you are now ready to prime the set. Point the adapter end downwards into the beaker. Pull back on the syringe plunger to draw solution into the barrel. Press the syringe plunger to empty the solution back into the container. Repeat this process until the length of tubing is filled with solution. Place the adapter end of the tubing set into the block holder, fitting the plastic flanges into the grooves of the holder. Close the door and tighten the screw, just enough to keep the door closed. Tightening it too much can actually strip the screw. Place the base of the block holder onto the pump's block holder post. Open the syringe port cover and place the master lure lock syringe into the corresponding port and close the cover. The block holder and lure lock syringe should be directly in line with each other. Ensure that the tubing set running into the block holder is free of kinks. Adjust the block holder back and forth as needed. Tighten the block holder gently. Turn on the pump using the on-off switch at the back. The software screen will light up. You can begin programming the pump following the display screen prompts. You will be able to select New Setup or Recall Setup. Press 1 on the numerical keypad. Select your port. We are using a 10 mil syringe which reflects port 3. Press 3 and Enter. 
You now have an option to choose the fill mode, manual or automatic. We will start with manual and explain the automatic process shortly. Press 1 and enter for manual. Enter your fill volume, in this case 5 mils and enter. You need to select your speed, one for low, two for medium, and three for high. On average, you will use two for medium speed. Liquids that are very viscous or generate a lot of bubbles may need to be used on a low speed. Liquids that are more watery and don't generate bubbles can run on high. The smaller the fill volume, the lower the speed to ensure accuracy. We will demonstrate high speed initially, press three and enter. You will now see an amber light flashing on port 3. The light is a reminder to ensure the master syringe is placed into the port. Once the master syringe is in place, press enter. The pump is now prompting you to load your target. The target is the container that you will ultimately fill. In this demo, a 5 mil oral dispenser. Place the dispenser onto the adapter and hold in place. Be careful not to press it onto the adapter too tight or you can stretch the adapter end. Secure it just enough so it is snug in place. Once the dispenser is loaded, you can press the start stop button to begin filling. The first dispenser of your batch must be discarded as the initial calibration is not completely accurate. But the solution can be dispelled back into the container for reuse. Load a new dispenser and press Start Stop. Check your fill volume for accuracy. If you received 5 mil fill volume, you can cap the dispenser and repeat to fill your batch. If you received less than or greater than 5 mil, you can adjust the amount. Simply press the Adjust button. Press 1 for yes and enter. Enter in the volume that the pump filled, in this case 4.6 mil, and press enter. Dispel the solution back into the beaker and use a new oral dispenser to fill. With the dispenser now filled accurately, you can complete your batch requirements. If you want to fill another type of unit dose container, you will follow a similar setup. Detach the block holder and adapter. Take your extension set and remove the blue end cap. Attach the extension set to the existing tubing set. Now remove the white cap and follow all previous steps for priming the tubing set. You can now complete the pump programming and begin filling directly into the unit dose container of choice. The optional foot pedal replaces having to press the start stop button in manual mode. Press down on the pedal to start the pump. Press again to repeat the fill process. The physical setup of the pump for automatic filling mode remains the same. Automatic filling allows you to program in the number of items you want to fill and the time interval between fillings. An example would be 100 unit of measure containers and 3 seconds between fills. 
The benefit of automatic fill is it allows the user to not press the start-stop button each time a new dispenser or container is loaded. To fill in automatic mode, simply select Automatic from the Select Mode screen. Press 2 and Enter. Enter your fill volume, 5 mil and Enter. Idle time between fills, 3 seconds and Enter. The cycle count, which is the number of total dispensers, 5 and Enter. And the speed, 3 for high and Enter. Once ready, press the Start Stop button and the pump will fill the total batch. You can stop the batch at any time by pressing the Start Stop button and resume filling by pressing it again. It is important to note that in order to stop the fill process, the pump needs to complete the current fill. Recall setup on the pump allows you to save the programming information and recall it at a later date for quick start programming. Recall setup is saved numerically, so you will need to maintain a manual log that records which solution corresponds to the numerical entry in the recall. The information saved in recall is the port used, the fill volume, the cycle count, and the speed of the pump. Programming is actually quite simple so you may choose to not use the recall functionality. Once you complete an automatic cycle fill, the programming screen will state Store Setup. To save this setup, press 1 for Yes and then Enter. The screen now shows the details of the program and which number in recalled it was stored as. In this case, it is being stored as 1. Press Enter to complete the store. You can now access this in future from the main menu screen under Option 2 for Recall Setup. Once you finish your batch, remove the tubing set end from the solution container and remove the anchor. Remove the master lure lock syringe from the port and the tubing set from the block holder. Draw back on the syringe plunger and remove all solution from the tubing set back into the solution container. Discard the tubing set, syringe and adapter into appropriate waste containers. Pour remaining solution from glass beaker back into the original solution container. Clean the beaker, anchor and block holder with sterile alcohol or a medical grade disinfectant. Turn off the pump and wipe it down with sterile alcohol or a medical grade disinfectant. PressiFill Precise Filling Pump is a smart, automated solution for batch filling. Learn more from our friendly customer service representatives at Healthmark.